This is Video Metadata AI, a custom GPT I made for the ChatGPT marketplace. Let's turn this custom GPT into a web app that we can potentially charge customers with, because let's be real, we're not gonna make any money in the GPT marketplace. If you want to turn your own custom GPTs into a web app, click the link in the description below. Okay, I wanna create a version of this custom GPT. When I'm creating YouTube videos, it's always tough to think of a title. So instead of this writing all of the metadata for a video, which a lot of it is pointless on YouTube now, we're gonna create an app that when you input the video transcript, it shoots out five to 10 titles that you can test with your video. First, I like to build out the page. So how is it going to look? I already made a free tool for you guys that allows you to use DALI 3 with your own API key. I like the layout, I like how the elements look. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna add a new page, and call it video title generator. Let's clone from the Dolly page and click create. Change that to video title generator. And instead of image prompt, I'm gonna call this video transcript. And the multi-line input box is fine. Let's change the min height to something larger. It also has a placeholder that we have to show what we want as an input. I'm gonna to go to one of my YouTube videos, click subtitles and copy some of this text, paste it in, and then I'll add three dots. Perfect, so we have a multi-line input where the user is going to paste their video transcript and then hit the generate button and get a list of titles. We don't need any of these elements. I changed the description text to, go to your YouTube videos details page, click subtitles, click edit as text, and then copy and paste your transcript into the input box below. Click the generate button to get five alternative titles that you can test for your video to see what gets the highest CTR and AVD. That stands for click through rate and average view duration. I'm gonna double click on this box and then we'll make this bold, make this bold as well, and then generate. So it's all the things you need to click. I'm hoping that stands out a bit more. And then we'll delete the API key input box. All right, we have the page design. Now let's start building out the workflow. So I'm gonna click on the generate button, click add workflow, and then we're gonna need a multi-step process just like the custom GPT. First, you'll need to install the API connector in your plugins. Then we're gonna create a call called OpenAI. We'll have two shared headers for the call. First one, content-type is application slash JSON, and then authorization is going to be bearer space and then your open AI secret key. I'm going to platform.openai.com and I'm hovering over the left here and clicking API keys. I'm gonna create a new secret key, call it video title generator, click create secret key. Let's copy that key and paste it in here. Then we're creating an API call, I call it GPT. I'm gonna expand this. We're using it as an action and a post request and it's posting to this URL. Our JSON body looks like this. This was copied from the API documentation, and you can see that some phrases here have these caret brackets. In Bubble, caret brackets create dynamic values, which means they can be changed within the app. So I'm changing the model that we use, GPT-4 or GPT-3.5 Turbo. I'm changing the system message, the content that the user inputs, the max tokens that we restrict the model to spit out, the temperature which is used for older models, and then N is how many results do we want in the output. To set up the API connector, we need to make a test call. So for that, I'm using the cheapest model, GPT 3.5 Turbo. The system content, I'm telling it to count to 10, and then the user content is speak French. So if I hit reinitialize call, and this means we get back a successful result. And if I look in the message content, un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, I hope I'm pronouncing them right. Let's hit save. Now back on our page, we can go to the generate button and go edit workflow. For the first step, we're gonna get a little creative. Because a video transcript can be very long, I don't wanna use the most expensive model to summarize it down into smaller points. I think for the first step, to summarize the video transcript, we can use GPT 3.5 Turbo. And here we have a brand new updated GPT 3.5 Turbo model. 
it's giving us a pretty large context window of 16,385 tokens with a 4,096 output token limit. So I'm gonna copy this model and let's add an action, plugins, the GPT for the model. We're gonna paste that in. For the system content message, I'm gonna write summarize this video transcript into one paragraph. I'm gonna bump the max tokens up to 1,000. And for the body content, I'm gonna go back to design. I'm gonna click on this input box and see what it's named. Right now it's image prompt because we copied it from Dolly. Let's change it to video transcript. And now I can click this, go to multi-line input video transcripts value. And just so we don't break the API call, I'm gonna add find and replace quotation marks and replace it with nothing. Quotation marks break API calls and cause errors. So we're gonna take them out of the entire transcript just in case they're in there. I'm gonna change the temperature to 0.5 and we just need one result, that's fine. And for testing purposes, let's go to data. I'm gonna create a new type called summary and click create a new field. It's gonna be called summarized video. The field type is going to be text. Let's click create. And then back in workflow, we're gonna add another action, data, create a new thing. We're gonna create a summary and then the field summarized video is going to be the result of step one. We go choices, first item, message content. I'm gonna hit preview. Let's test it out. I'm gonna to go to my YouTube dashboard. Let's click my newest video about creating deep fake videos. I'm gonna to go to subtitles and let's copy all of this text. This is the video transcript. Go back in here, paste it in. There we go. And I'm gonna hit generate. The API call went through. Now I'm gonna go back to bubble, go to data, go to app data. And there we go, we have a new summary. Let's see what it says. It says the speaker demonstrates how to create AI deep fake videos using the Swapface app. They explain the process of downloading, installing, and using the app, including selecting a video and a face to swap, choosing processing modes, and removing watermarks. The speaker also discusses the limitations of their computer for processing, sorry about that, and suggests alternative tools for converting video formats. They conclude by offering to review other AI deepfake video tools and promoting an online course on building custom AI apps. Amazing, perfect summary of everything that's in that video. Next step, we're gonna take that summary and create a bunch of YouTube video titles. I can delete this create summary action step because we now know it works. And then let's add a new action, go down to plugins. We're gonna do the same thing, GPT. We also have a new updated GPT-4 turbo model. And they say it's supposed to reduce cases of laziness where the model doesn't complete a task. Let's take the name of this model and paste it in here. So the second step to create the titles is gonna use GPT-4 Turbo, a more capable model. Let's bump up the max tokens just so we don't hit any limits. For the system content message, I'm gonna write, use these video title examples as a guide for crafting your own. And I actually went through a bunch of YouTube channels and took the best performing video titles and copied them into this document. So let's start taking these titles and pasting them into the system content message. I'm gonna separate them by a comma and I'm gonna do 10 examples just so it keeps our input context cheap. You could also create an assistant in the API and use this as a knowledge base and then call that assistant in the API, but it might be a bit overkill. Okay, there we go. For the content message, write five alternative titles for a video with this summary. We'll insert dynamic data, the result of step one, choices, first item, message content. And remember, we're gonna go find and replace, take out the quotation marks. For the temperature, we're gonna keep it at one. That's gonna give us more creative outputs. And then an N at one, we just want one result. Now, how do we display it on the page for the user? I'm gonna go back to design. Let's add a little shaded group. It's not gonna be visible on the page load, so it's gonna be invisible. I'm gonna call it video titles and then clicking on the page, let's add a custom state. I'll remove the states from the old page. We're gonna create a new one called video titles. The state type is going to be text. Let's click create and then I'll go back to this group and we'll create a condition 
when the page's video title state is not empty, then we're gonna show it on the page. And then back in workflow, after this action, we'll add a new one. Scroll down to element actions, set state. The element is the page, the state is video titles, and the value is gonna be the result of step two, choices, first item, message content. And then we'll trim it to remove any extra spaces. The workflow is it summarizes the transcript and then creates five video titles about that summary based on all the best examples. And then the result of that API call, we're gonna set the state of the page and then display it in this box here. So I'm gonna click on text and then insert dynamic data. It's gonna be that pages, state, and that text. Let's test it out. Okay, we need a video transcript. I'm gonna go back to that video, click subtitles again. Let's copy this transcript. Paste it in, let's click generate, and you can see the API call working as the top bar goes across the page. And now the box has appeared. We got five video titles, Swap Face Masterclass, create stunning AI deep fake videos today. Oh, I love that one. Your ultimate guide to face swapping videos from download to deep fake with Swap Face. Deep fake like a pro, a step-by-step -step tutorial using Swap Face app. So what I do is I take the title I like, let's say this number three, copy it, go over to the video and then change the title. There you have it. We just turned a custom GPT on ChatGPT into its own web application. Now we're not done and there are many things that you can do with this. We can add a copy to clipboard button. We can clear the input box after it has generated titles so the page looks cleaner. We can separate each of these titles into its own box with its own copy button. We can charge people a subscription to use the feature. Let's say nine bucks a month. And you do that by adding the Stripe plugin and then the subscribe the user to a plan action. I go in depth into all of these things in the online course. It's all about building a custom AI app and starting an AI side hustle business. Click the link in the description below if you're interested. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Click the one that interests you the most. Give it a watch. I'll see you in there. Later.